cost values we get there are what? Numerical. Numerical values in miles. Those are the numerical values you get there. What about the third one? What is your gender? Kind of, what's the variable? It's pretty obvious, gender is the variable. Okay, good. And what kind of, uh, what kind of responses are we expecting there? Words. Words, non-numerical, right? Non-numerical worded answers. What about the fourth one? Variable? Type. Variable type. Response type. Numerical. Numerical. Fifth one? Wait. Wait. Response type is? Numerical. Sixth one? I color. Variables I color. Yes, I. And response is? Worded or non numerical. Seventh one? Are you primarily right or left handed? <laughs> well, obviously the variable is handedness. And the response is there again, non-numerical, worded non-numerical. Eighth, siblings you have.
On the other hand, all of the ones up here that are classified as non-numerical. The responses may be non-numerical, but if you look a little deeper at the actual responses we get, in each one of these non-numerical examples, you can actually create a finite number of categories to fit each of the individual responses. Right? In terms of year and school, there are four different categories in which someone could fit. Junior, senior, freshman, sophomore. Four categories. Gender. Again, there's a finite number of categories, I hope. Male, female. Maybe other. Just go with those two. Eye color. Again, finite number of categories. So that's what categorical variables are. Categorical variables are variables in which the responses can be placed into individual categories where all of the categories are distinct and there's no overlap between those categories. Now, it may seem a little mundane. Why are we going over what all these different things are? Why do we care about the difference between categorical and quantitative variables? Well, because the way that we look at the data, the way that we summarize it and we present it to other people depends a lot upon what kind of data we have. <coughs> Does it, if I'm going to talk about the average eye color, can I add up all the eye colors and divide by the total number of people and say, this is the average eye color in class? Does that make any sense? No, I don't even know how to add red and green together. I don't know, of course, if you have red eye, I'm worried, but, you know, those are the kind of things that you have to analyze when you're looking at your variables is, how am I going to display the information? How am I going to summarize the information I get from each one of these different response questions? That's something that we're going to look at today. How do we summarize these data? How can I present this to someone else without just, you know, regurgitating all of the response variables I got or the response uh, outputs that I got? Okay. All right. Now, one thing to say before I move on too much further. I said over here that. Quantitative variables are variables which have numerical responses and in which there is a measurable difference between two different responses. Okay? Now, not all data that comes in numerical form represents quantitative data. Okay? For example, um, if I ask the question, um, how much, or how, sorry, any question that starts with how much is almost always going to be a quantitative variable. But um, if I ask the question, um, are you a smoker? And for the responses, I say zero if no, one if occasionally, and two if um, pack a day. Notice the responses I get out here, again, have a numerical form. Right? The numerical responses are 0, 1, 2. Those are the, va the values that I get out. Now, does it make sense to say the difference between not smoking and occasionally smoking is 1? Does that make sense? What does that mean? What does it mean to say that the difference between never smoking and occasionally smoking is a 1? Is there some sort of, is there some sort of magnitude that we can associate with the number one that distinguishes it from a non-smoker? I mean, maybe one represents two cigarettes for one person, and for another person it may mean five. There's no way for me to make a measurable difference between these two responses. There's no um, measurable difference or magnitude associated with these values. So even though these responses come as numerical, they don't represent quantitative data. These are, in fact, still categorical data values. Or variables. This is still a categorical uh, variable. This is, don't think that just because you see numbers, it's automatically quantitative data. It can still be categorical, even if it comes in numerical form. All right. So let me put up a table here. Uh, this table represents the frequency of shark attacks by region. <coughs>